Hello guys and welcome to a series of videos where I will be showcasing some of my monsters, how they are built and where and how to use them. I will be making more of these in the future so comment down below which monster you would like to see and if I have them I'll try and build them to showcase them in the future. But I am a little baby minnow that spends very little on the game so resources are hard to come by. In the meantime, I want to shout out the SWC Dex YouTube channel. They have produced shorts for almost every monster in the game and provide you with a great starting point for building your monsters. Link to their channel will be in the description. Let's start out with my pride and joy, Teor. Teor has been my number one for a very long time now. Teor is a knight class monster, meaning that he is typically on the front line tanking for the rest of your team. As a knight class, his AI in challenge arena and brawl, when not soul linked, will attack the nearest enemy. As you can see, the majority of his power comes from leveling him up, enhancing his skills, and awakening him to a level 15. Book effects are increased defense and precision. For those of you who are new, book effects are more stats that you get for summoning this monster multiple times, giving you something beneficial if you summon a dupe even after they are fully built. His basic attack is 165% of attack and the chance to apply Frostbite. Frostbite slightly decreases attack speed and move speed, and the target will take damage over time. Skill 1 is the main source of damage with insane damage multipliers of 452% of attack plus 679% of defense. On top of that, he also applies Frostbite again and has a chance to knock down his target. While the damage is incredible, this knockdown is also quite useful. Skill 3 is one of the reasons he works so well with Cleef. This skill does respectable damage to the enemies in an AoE area, provokes enemies, and applies a defense buff to everyone in the area. Lastly, it freezes an enemy if they are frostbitten. This is a powerful opening skill at the beginning of a PvP fight. The ultimate is a nuclear amount of damage, slamming down to the ground, dealing insane damage giving your team tons of defense up, provokes enemies, and freezes. This ultimate can easily wipe an entire team if set up properly. These are my current runes and effect stones. He's currently on Rage Blade, and he is typically my sole damage dealer along with my Cleef. Slot 2 is a defense percent, slot 4 is a crit damage, slot 6 is a defense percent. His stat priorities are crit rate, crit damage, defense, HP, and attack, with the luxury stat of resistance being your final priority. If Teor gets defense broken, then a lot of his usage goes out the window. This is why I like HP, because even if he gets defense broken, his tankiness will still be coming from the HP to help him survive. Okay, let's talk about where we can use him. Teor is primarily a PvP monster, but he can certainly be used in a lot of places as a damage dealer. Outside of PvP, you can use him in the Forgotten Earth Shrine, Fire Talati's Expedition, Galagos as a damage dealer slash provoker, and for raids, I still use him in Naraka for the minion phase. There are better monsters for this minion phase, and they also have wider AoEs and more consistent CC effects, but my Teor is always ruined, so it's just easy to swap him in. So obviously PvP is where he shines, and I want to showcase how he can be used. In this first matchup, as you can see on the left, the Tessarion and the Orbia are the only two significant threats on this team. Orbia being water isn't a huge threat to my Teor, and Tessarion being fire also is not a massive threat to my Teor. Tessarion can be really deadly to cleave, so I've brought in my water weapon to make sure that I try not to get defense broken or oblivion by the Tessarion while I'm helping my Teor take out the Tessarion. My goal here is to take out the Tessarion, then move on to the Orbia. As you can see at the start of the fight, I'm not rushing right in to try not to pull aggro from the Tessarion. I want to save up a little bit of mana so that I can do a little bit of damage and then my Teor can come in and blast him with his skill 1. As you can see, it wasn't quite enough damage and my Cleef has zero precision, therefore not landing any of my basic attacks. But it just took a couple more mana and Teor was able to get another skill 1 in, defeating the Tessarion. After being quite dumb for a while and whacking away at the Ariel, who was never going to die, I finally decided to switch targets to the Orbia, which should have been my plan to begin with. As you can see, the Orbia is extremely squishy, and just a couple hits from both my Wind Weapon and my Teor is going to be able to take her out relatively quickly. With lots of support, the Orbia took a second to die, but the Teor ultimate came in to seal the deal, and we're pretty much done at this point.
Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped. Remember, everybody's got a slightly different build. Everybody's got different opinions on how to build. I'm just sharing my thoughts on the process. If you are building your Teor slightly different or you think they could be used in a different way, let me know down in the comments. If you want to see more monster showcases like this, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you have a monster that you're interested in seeing me showcase, make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know which monster it is. As always, guys, my name is Topher Smurf telling you to keep on gaming.